Today we will talk about why Galadriel is so strong and powerful as one of the most interesting in the Lord of the Rings universe. We will try to understand this issue in more detail. Galadriel's history is closely intertwined with references to her power and magic dating back to the Age of the Ancients. Here is one of the earliest mentions of her abilities that have been discovered. Tolkien wrote that from an early age she had an amazing gift to penetrate the souls of others, but she judged them with mercy and understanding. It is not entirely clear here what it means to penetrate into souls however. For example, in the Brotherhood of the Ring, we see that she could read the thoughts of Frodo. And Sam if she wanted, she said so directly, I feel the enemy of the Dark Lord, I know all his thoughts and plans concerning the elves, and he also seeks to see me and my thoughts, but the door has been closed so far. Thus, she definitely has the ability to read minds and telepathy, but more importantly, she knows how to protect her mind from others, we remember that Soren's real strength lies in his ability to dominate the minds of others, Tolkien wrote several times about. For example, this dark spirit more powerful than Saruman lured him into his nets, the fact that Galadriel could not just resist the influence of Sauron, but also actively prevented him from penetrating her mind, is a real evidence of her colossal mental strength, she resisted where Saruman one of the stories could not stand, but her strength is not only wisdom or intelligence, she had the ability to shape and charm the world around her. Gil-galad gave the seeds to Galadriel under her rule. The Molerns grew luxuriantly in the land of Lad Loren, but they did not reach the height and girth of the groves of Numenor. In addition, in the head where she brings Frodo to her mirror, she says the following, I think this is what your people consider magic, although I don't quite understand what you mean, but this is if you want the magic of Galadriel. She calls her magic the ability to affect the surface of the water in a mirror in such a way that it shows a possible version of future events, and finally it is obvious that her magic can be called combat. 2000. In the 941st year of the third epic, Galadriel joined the White Council to attack Dol Guldur to expel the necromancer who later turned out to be Sauron, we were shown this battle in the Hobbit film adaptations and there she clearly used magic to defeat Sauron, however, there is no confirmation in the books that she actually used magic in this battle, for which she is described in detail another battle, already at the end of the War of the Ring in 1319, the third of the epic, Galadriel joined Lothlorien's army to storm Dol Guldur, the elves captured Dol Guldur, Galadriel brought down the walls of the fortress and the darkness over the forest dissipated, this was not shown in the film, but it's a pity. She single-handedly neutralized the charms of Sauron that bound the earth and the fortress walls, this is real strength and power. Here are a few more lines of Tolkien that allow us to see how strong he considered her as the hero of his works, he called her having abilities equal to Feyner. In strength but in other ways in manifestation, he wrote that she was one of the greatest Eldar in Valinor, and noted that Galadriel was the greatest of the Noldor, except perhaps only Feyner, but she was wiser than him, although Tolkien himself was his son. Christopher formulates this comparison with Feyner in different ways, this is quite enough to understand how powerful she is as a character. We remember that to defeat Feyner, she needed several Balrog fire demons of death, while he managed to inflict seven severe wounds, it is about this level of strength and power is what we are talking about. But why is she so powerful, one of the reasons for her Strength can be considered her age, the fact is that in fact the history of Middle-earth in all. Tolkien's novels is the story of a dying world, magic is gradually leaving it like. All the wonders of the Valar that we read about in the Silmarillion. Galadrieli was born in 1362 in the years two of the Tree of Telpurion and Laurelin, 
It was at a time when magic was at its peak when the world was most closely connected with Valerona. Grew up under these firewood, these creations of life of light and magic that endowed her with spiritual gifts unlike the rest of the elves who appeared after her and not grown up in the light of the trees. In David Harvey's book The Song of Middle Earth, the author examines symbolism and mythology in Tolkien's works, in particular in the Silmarillion. Tolkien did not like allegories very much, but his religion, and he was a Catholic, still had a great influence on his work, he seemed to regret that long gone time when a person communicated with God directly and received knowledge and wisdom from him, in his invented world the Valar, who can be called the gods of Middle-earth, were actively involved in what was happening in the world, and most importantly they the Eldar were taught, mentored and directly led by the first elves. Galadriel was from the Noldor, one of the first three tribes of elves, that's what Tolkien wrote about them. The Noldor were dear to Owl, and he and his people often came to them and the knowledge and skill of the Noldor became truly great, but the greater was their thirst for knowledge and in many ways they soon surpassed the teachers. Alls was the patron of crafts, land cultivation and blacksmithing, it was from him that the Noldor learned to endow weapons and various objects with magical properties. These elves went to Amon to live among the Valar for a while, in unlike the Avari who refused to take part in the great campaign of the elves. To the west, in Amon, the elves, studying under the guidance of the Valar, comprehended the secrets. The creation itself, the formation of the world around them the way they want it to be. Among all the elves, it was the Noldor who were closest to the Valar, so mostly. All magic comes from them, and Galadriel was even closer to the gods than others, there are such lines. In her youth, like most Noldor, she was a student of Aula and Yavanna, but having learned everything that the Valar considered it necessary to teach the elves, Galadriel felt constrained by the care of the Valar in Alinar. It turns out that Galadriel knows in general everything that the Valar have ever taught the elves, each elf usually chose some one area of knowledge and comprehended the pinnacle of mastery in it. Fainer, for example, chose for himself the skill and blacksmithing, Galadriel. As we already know, she was considered wiser than Fainer and therefore she was able to create such miracles as the light of Erendil or the very mirror that was shown in the episode with Frodo. In addition, we know that there is mentoring. Valor Galadriel did not seem enough, and therefore she additionally studied with Melian. Galadriel stayed in the Hidden Kingdom and settled with Melian, she learned wisdom and knowledge about Middle-earth from her, by the way Melian is actually his Valor, she is a mayor. Closer to the rank of Sauron or Gandalf, a kind of hierarchy of the angels of Middle-earth. Melian served as the truth of the Valar flowers of growth and healing, we know one specific thing that Galadriel learned from Melian during her training, namely how to bake lembas, it seems that it was at this time, given the spheres of influence of these Valars, Galadriel comprehended the art of growing and preserving trees. The description of the forest she created, which is unlike anything else in Middle Earth, is closely related to her training under the guidance of the Valar. Lotlorian in the book, it is described as follows, behind the moat there was green grass, surrounding a green hill on which huge malerns grew and the travelers had not yet seen such high ones, it was difficult to determine their height exactly, but they towered in the twilight like living towers. Countless green and gold and silver lights twinkled on the tiers of their branches among the trembling leaves. The ability to influence the world around her is another property of Galadriel that distinguishes her from other elves, the ring itself does not increase the power of Galadriel, however. There is a mention in the texts that it protects the lands stored by it with its magic. 
and protects them from enemies, there is another point that I would like to mention. About Galadriel, it's not about her knowledge or her abilities, but about a lesser, an elven stone created by the Noldor that healed everything she touched. The hands of its owner, possessing a lesser Galadriel was able to make her forests. Beautiful in Middle-earth until the shadow came again, later when Galadriel had a ring of water, a lesser became unnecessary to her and during the War of the Ring he was given to Aragorn, what I like about elven magic and in all the magic of Middle-earth is that she makes enchanted objects more useful than they are, endow them with new ones the properties of magic change the world around us, making it amazing and more integral. That's what the elves do to the outside world and that's what Galadriel does to Lothlorien, and in the Battle of Dol Guldur when she brought down the walls of the fortress and the darkness over the forest dissipated, that's what Galadriel does. With the lands of Sauron, the Dark Lord had magic that supported the walls of the fortress and Galadriel dispelled these charms, the elven lands are the edge of magic and without it the earth is essentially doomed to perish, it is declining, the elves have a very pronounced connection with their land, they make themselves a part of nature and the earth seems to become a part of themselves, magic is their way of connecting with their land. Thank you for watching until we meet again.